guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game or card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called One Drunk Night. Yeah, we've all been there. Well, most of us have been there. Well, I've been there before. And in the game One Drunk Night, you're playing three to eight players by Atomic Children. It takes about anywhere from like a half an hour to as long as you want to play. It's for ages 17 and up. Uh, specifically with the adult mature cards. This is a mature theme game for those of you who do not like games that are mature audiences only. If you don't like games that usually involve spirits of some sort or games that have some risque or an or sexual language, this is probably a pass for you. But if not, continue listening because One Drunk Night is going to allow you to have cards in your hand based on middles endings and then of course a beginning to a story that you're going to create now it plays similar to, similarly to a judging game and you can think of the games like cards against humanity and apples to apple as far as cards being played but in this one you're actually telling a story and it'll keep going around the table there's going to be a player who's going to draw one of the of two beginning cards then he's going to read them out loud everybody's going to either play a be a middle or an end card into the middle of the table you're going to shuffle those up look at them decide which one you want to play and add it to the story if it's an end card that ends the story and if it's a middle card the story keeps going and the judge and or story reader will pass to the left. Players who get their cards placed into the story are going to gather one point for middles and two points for an end card and if the story ends you're going to choose two new beginnings and start once again. But if you get to a certain amount of points that could be one way to win or just play until you guys are done having fun with the game. I'll read one of the stories to show you what kind of crazy concoction you can come up with then we'll go down below I'll show you the game I'll show you how to play and then I'll tell you what I think of the game one drunk night I was once on track to be the next pop star sensation with my fedora and my trusty whip realizing suddenly that it was Friday the 13th and I was being chased so I donned my hockey mask uh, <laughs> and I ruined my pants with my faithful Eskimo companion Steve we grabbed a motel for a couple of hours apparently requiring uh, required putting an uncomfortable black sack on my head Believe it or not, Hollywood is even making an after-school special about it. And that would be one random story based on random cards that we just came up with on the, on the fly here real quick. And then, of course, after that would be the end of the story. The next player is going to go ahead and go and go on and go on and go on and go on, and go on until you guys basically score how you want or finish. We did a live stream for it uh, this last week, so you can go ahead and watch and see how it's played fully. But let's go ahead and take you down below. I'll show you what comes in the game and how to play it. So here we have the game One Drunk Night and all that is included. And as you can see, you're going to be getting a beginning a middle deck and an end deck and there's quite a lot of cards now there's more in the middle and then in the end than there are in the beginning because you're not going to need as many of these during an entire amount of gameplay and trust me there is so many stories that are going to come out of this concoction that you won't even need to at first I was like why is there so many middles and whatnot but as I started playing the game I'm like, oh I, I totally get it now you're gonna get the rules for the game all the cards are also color coded which makes it nice when you're organizing them so I would always suggest organizing them by the color on the uh, back as opposed to with what it tells you on the, on the top it shows middle beginning and end as well as of course the one drunk at night box here it tells you how many players the age range the fun the difficulty and whatnot it's kind of an interesting way of doing it i liked it uh so this is what you're gonna get let's go ahead and show so set up and then after the shit set up then we'll go ahead and show you a couple stories and whatnot and setup's pretty easy you're going to go ahead and give every single player five middle cards and you're just going to go ahead and shuffle these decks up and randomly deal out five for each player along with two of these ending cards after that you're going to go ahead and select one player who's going to be basically the decider, the storyteller, the judge, however you want to look at it. And they're going to take two of these beginning cards, flip them over. I'm going to make sure that they're not too, uh, too crazy. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and choose one of them. And I'd say, okay, I'm going to pick this one. It says, I had this crazy dream when, and then everybody else is going to go ahead and play a card from their hand. And they're just going to drop down middles or ends, whatever you want to do. So we'll just actually go ahead and take... Uh, that's okay, and that's okay, I think, and maybe this one okay. And then after that, the judge is going to go ahead and pick him up, and he's going to go ahead and choose one of them, add it to the story, and put it there, and discard the rest of the cards. And it's going to continue going on like that. The player is going to score points based on whether it's the middle or the end, and at the end of the story, the player is going to read it fully, score any points, and then the next storyteller is just going to go ahead and draw two of these guys and continue again with the game. That's pretty much the idea of it and the setup. Up. let's go ahead and show you some stories to the game down below and then we'll come up and i'll give you my uh, take on it okay so we went ahead and set it up for the three players here and everybody's got their two ends and their five middles and we're just going to keep the story that we already had previously this one says i have this crazy dream where 
they asked me if I would like to take this someplace a little more private. Okay, so this player finished. He chose this one, and this the player that Pip placed it down was probably this guy here and scored one point for a middle. He is now the new storyteller, and everybody else is going to go ahead and choose another card from their hand and place it down. Um, I'll put this one down here, and then this player who was previously the storyteller is going to go ahead and put one down. Uh, this one here. Then after everybody has played a card down, make sure these guys are random and shuffled up. Sometimes the storyteller can close their eyes. Uh, the players can either choose one middle or one ending card based on whatever they'd like. And maybe they'll pick a middle and they'll pick an end. So you're always going to have those seven cards in hand. Then this player here is going to go ahead and flip these cards over and determine which one they want to use. Uh... How about this one here? <laughs> so this one says now, I had this crazy dream where uh, they asked me if I would like to take this someplace a little more private with my rusty pliers. Well, that's not going to sound ominous at all. And the person who played this card is going to score the point. Now this player is the next storyteller, in which case these guys are going to go ahead and play something down. Uh, that's a funny one. And then this player here... Uh, that one there. And then you go ahead and shuffle it up. And this player's going to go ahead and choose after everybody gets their middle or ending card of their specific choice. All right, so a little place private with my rusty pliers. And I could choose this one, which says, I finally made it back home and everybody was still alive. So that'd be a pretty good one. Or, and that was the last time I accepted candy from a stranger. We'll go ahead and just choose, choose that one there. That would complete the story. Whoever played the ending card is going to score two points. This entire story is going to go away. And the next player, the new storyteller, is going to have two beginning cards. They're going to go ahead and choose uh, which one they would like. And then the story will once again be with these players playing more. I started started my morning coffee with my I started my my morning with my usual coffee slash cocaine enema wow that's that, that's fun anyway that's the basic idea of the game one drunk night there's some variations as well as how you'd like to play it but uh let's go ahead now and come up and I will discuss it with you I'll show you some more cards and explain how risque the game can get because I showed you pretty much some uh less crazy ones all right so let's discuss one drunk night by atomic children and uh this game like i said has got some mature cards you can actually choose to put them in the deck or not and personally for the people who i think would really enjoy this game are going to include those cards a lot like a, a lot of my friend group who enjoys drinking who enjoys games like these and it's really nice when i have a game that's unique to the basic genre that they're used to they have a ton of like crabs against humanity cards against humanity uh that you, you you can name the different types of ones, Cyanide and Happiness, Apples to Apples. They have all those type of games, and they enjoy them, and they like collecting multiples of them and even mixing them together, right? But I like showing them the unique ones that have a little bit of a twist to them. And so if you also like that, then you're going to enjoy this game. Uh, there, for instance, there's beginnings. Like, I became the well-adjusted person that I am today because of the time dot dot dot. So the cops finally caught up with me last night, or I stood behind the last of an endangered species. I woke up hungover on a space station. That's Those are just beginnings, right? Here's endings. Uh, somehow it ended up being a strange time paradox, and I became my own grandma slash grandpa. But most importantly, I finished that damn Rubik's Cube, and I, be, and I, found, I found before chaos ensued. <laughs> it was a religious experience. Now, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Anyway, that is why I'm no longer allowed at Chuck E. Cheese's. You can only imagine what middle ones could be attached to these. Uh, so yeah, that got me fired. Everything is okay now, except for the constant anal leakage. Wow, that, that's a little bit more on the risque side, right? And we'll go ahead and pick some random middle ones if I can. Some of them are just like... While in search of a conquest, drink, or fix, you can kind of choose which options you want, which uh, which really wasn't a dirty slash pleasant as it sounds. That's when a polar bear attacked and I was apparently an undercover CIA agent, suddenly I spied a hoverboard just floating there, like I was destined to take it, so I did. <laughs> Keith Richards, <laughs> the Dow dropped 2,000 points, leading to global rioting. I mean, so you have ones that are not so, you know, there's a mix of things going on, but I like the fact the story continues, and you can kind of choose when you want to end the story, and you don't know who's playing what down, and there's certain cards that feel like they work better than others, and sometimes they're more funny, or sometimes they're more realistic. It has those same appeals of those judging style games, but uh, the, the aspect of storytelling really interested me in this game. When I first started playing this game, I read the rules incorrectly. 
Ah, uh, wow, I, I, it happens sometimes. And I was like, oh, okay, it's it, it's a judging game, you know, similar similar to most of my reviews involving judging games. Where I'm just like, you know, it, it it it's gonna have that audience appeal for certain people, and I don't mind them, especially if you're drinking. But with this game specifically, it was really fun. We played on live stream. It was really interesting to put down the cards and whatnot. Of course, we're playing live, so we had to avoid saying anything that was too uh, much on stream. So we kind of changed the words around to kind of incorporate a new story, which was also really fun. I like games like Once Upon a Time, and I like games that have basic storytelling involved with like the story cubes and whatnot. And this kind of fulfills that for me and also gives the, uh, the, the masses of people who enjoy drinking and playing these specific card games, something that we can kind of converge into a game that I really enjoyed. Uh, that, that being said though, if you don't like Cards Against Humanity, you don't like games that involve judging and all that kind of stuff, this is still not gonna be the game for you. It's not different enough in that way. But if you like storytelling games and you want something that's a little bit more spicy, a little bit more interesting, uh, this is gonna be something Something that'd be good for you. I, I definitely prefer playing this to, uh, over Cards Against Humanity, uh, hands down in my opinion, uh, but I, I can see why certain people would not like the storytelling aspect as much. L luckily for you guys, if you're watching this video, you probably have an understanding of this game already and you're going to know if you like this game or not. This is going to either be a yes or no. I doubt there's going to be very many people that are like, I don't know about one drunk night, you know, you're either going to just be like, yes, I like this game or... It's a little, little, little too much for me. Overall, I had a fun time with it. It's something I'm definitely going to be bringing to my friends at parties, and uh, I think they're really, really going to dig this game. Yet again, especially now with the new and correct way of playing it, down below in the description will be the link to the live stream if you want to watch it, watch us, and determine for yourself if you really are in that middle category. I don't know. I'm not. You, you do what you want. Be what you want, you know? <laughs> All right, let's, let's go ahead and end this one now, and I will give you my final beautiful little outro thing I do for all my videos. You ready? Here we go. Uh, one filter gamer review. If you like one drunk night, you should check it out. It's pretty good. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. It's a dark humor story building game for you and your deviant friends. I think that pretty much covers it. Also check out on filtergamer.com. We're giving away a lot of giveaways right now. There they are. As well as taking a look at our live streams down in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you really, really want to, uh, you're going to get really good videos like, like this one. Really good ones. All right, guys. I'm going to go take a nap. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ugh.